Out of breaking news, we first share with you on CBS Colorado Mornings. This truck drove into this home in Highlands Ranch. Happened down Fairway Fairview Parkway, not too far from Valor Christian High School. Your reporter for Douglas County, Olivia Young, is there on scene tonight for us. So, Olivia, you talked to the woman who lives in that house, and we learned from you that she was inside at the time. She was, Karen, and it was just after 5 a.m. this morning that a Chevy Silverado drove over this green belt and crashed into the home behind me. And if that doesn't sound unlucky enough, it's actually the second time that this has happened. And this neighborhood is still recovering from that tornado earlier this year. If you see that big hole in my wall, I was actually sleeping directly above that. It wasn't the awakening Cassie Mosier was hoping for. The sound was pretty terrifyingly loud. It kind of sounded like it might be like a tornado. Mosier has only lived in the home for a month, but for her partner, the incident was deja vu. As soon as he heard that sound, he pretty much knew exactly what was going on. In 2019, a driver had a medical emergency and crashed into the garage of the home. This morning, it was the living room. He could see like the front of the car, like right here. This time, the driver said he fell asleep at the wheel. So we could hear them from the second floor being like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sorry. The driver suffered minor injuries, but a female passenger is hospitalized with serious injuries. Accidents happen, and if he did truly fall asleep at the wheel, like we're all human, we all make mistakes. Now Mosier is praying for their recovery and scratching her head. What are the odds that something like that could happen twice? After the 2019 incident, neighbors have been calling for changes at the intersection. A stoplight was recently installed, but the accident still happened. The chances are uh, something could happen there, so we need to look at maybe making some hard barriers to protect that community. Now the sheriff says it's two times too many, and those changes are finally coming. Douglas County Traffic Engineering says they recognize this is a public safety concern and they're looking into next steps. Now, that driver was charged with careless driving resulting in bodily injury, but those charges could change as investigators learn more. In Douglas County, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First. And Olivia, so glad she's all right and that they're looking into this. All right, obviously a problem. Thank you. Olivia Young.